This video shows you how to install your Apollo V4 standalone into the Ultimate Expansion Board. What you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, uh, your expansion board obviously, and your V4 taken out of its uh, initial case that it comes into. It's quite a straightforward process, you just have to make sure that uh, you do things in the right order so that all the cables and things are out of the way when you install a device. So the first thing you should do is remove the compact flash extender. It's held on by these two black screws. So we remove that. Just move it out the way for the moment. The next thing you should do is remove these two white standoffs. Just finger tight, just unscrew them. Just like so. Okay, and also remove these two screws here. And put them to the side. You should also loosen the screw that is on top of this standoff here. This is where the V4 board sits on the expansion board. And this provides a little bit of extra support. So just undo the screw here so that it's sitting perhaps two to three millimeters off the standoff. So when you install the board, it can rest on that standoff. Okay, so now we've got the board, we want to start positioning the cables um, in, in preparation for inserting the, the V4 board. So what we want to do, this USB blaster cable, we just want to fold this so it's out the way into, into something like this. It needs to curl around in on itself and have the right uh, the red strip on the right hand side, like so here, and the board will be going on top. So we just keep that in mind. Uh, secondly, we just need to push these two cables, which is the, the mouse and uh, legacy mouse and joystick, just so that they they sit. Similarly to the, to the USB blaster cable, just on the inside here, and we just curl that around like so. They will be plugged in later on. And then as we put the board on, we want to lift these out of the way. So there's a little bit of just holding down a cable or two as we put things in. So what I tend to do, just hold this cable down like so. You can move those out of the way with one hand. Then you can take the board and align the micro SD um, connector with the slot in the back of the ultimate expansion board. And so what we do is just line it up like so. Rest the, cable, rest the board onto the standoff that's at the back. And then the board will pretty much sit on top of the standoffs. We will subsequently screw it in. So I'm just going to put one of those in there just to hold it in place temporarily while we move cables around. And the board is like such. So just make sure there's not too much pressure on the back here and that the board is just resting on top of that standoff underneath the screw head. Uh, then it's a case of simply plugging in the cables and screwing in um, these two screws and then attaching the compact flash extender. So I'll just do that now. The screw can, just there, not too tight. These are nylon screws, they will strip if you do them up too tight. They don't need to be tight at all. Okay, just put those two screws in. Now we can plug these two IDC cables into the board. Just they are sometimes a bit tight, so just make sure you've got a bit of support underneath the board there while you push them on. And you'll note that I'm wearing a anti-static wrist wrap, as you should do any time you're handling any electronics at all. Okay, so those two are two are in. The next thing to do is take this USB blaster programming cable and plug it in to the board. Like so. Next up, we take the compact flash extender and the two standoffs, and we want to mount this. The first thing is these two standoffs go in through the board, like so. And the smaller one, the short one, goes into this hole here. Okay. That's the V4 secure. 
Right, the compact flash adapter simply sits on these two standoffs and it is attached with the, the two nylon screws. One there and one here. Okay, again, don't over tighten it and you should find that the compact flash just sits inside the slot here. Compact flash um, entrance way. Okay, this board doesn't touch the uh, the back plane, and the board will rest just just lightly onto the Ethernet port there. Okay, plug in the compact flash um, IDE extender cable. Now we need to make sure this cable comes up and over the board, not down and onto the board. So bend the bend the cable up a bit. Give that a bend as well. Okay, and the cable comes down like this. And as normal, it's a relatively tight fit onto the IDE, IDE header. Okay, something like that. Last thing to do for the mouse and keyboard is to plug these in. So the, uh, the mouse um, connector on the back plane is at the bottom. And so that goes to the left hand port here, or the V4. Uh, I actually don't have any legacy um, devices, so I can't um, can't for certain um, say I've used them very much. But this is the uh, the way they go. Like most people, I will be using the the modern USB uh, mouse and gamepad. Right, and the final thing is to plug this USB uh, power and data cable into the lower port of the v4 plus if you have two if you have the v4 plus there'll be two usb ports just plug it into the lower one if you have the original v4 there'll only be one usb port there plug that in okay and that's it we have a fully installed v4 and mounted in the ultimate expansion board um, ready to be installed into uh, your case if you just bought the board but if you already have the kit, then this board will already be pre-installed in the case um, and you're uh, ready to go. Enjoy!